Hi everyone. Let's create this beautiful sleek scroll animation in Framer. In this, we will be animating a component across sections using triggers and variants. You will generally find this kind of animation in product landing pages and SaaS landing pages to showcase or highlight specific parts of the product or features in great detail. Welcome to Framer School. I am Siddharth, a Framer designer and tutor. I make weekly videos on Framer news, tips, etc and build beautiful websites on Framer. If you like such content, make sure you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss my videos. First, let's start with a rough sketch. Rough sketch solidifies the structure, keeps the focus sharp and helps avoid any unnecessary deviations. A detailed sketch makes all the difference. In a new Framer project, turn the layout into a stack in the vertical direction and set the fill color to white. Start by adding a new stack in the vertical direction, remove any gap, any fill, name it as the main container. Now within this main container, let's keep adding sections. According to the rough sketch, we have 5 sections in total within this main container. First section being sticky, the remaining 4 sections 1, 2, 3, 4 will help trigger the animations on the component we'll be building later. Let's add the sections now. Create a frame, set the width to fill container and height to viewport. Name the section as sticky section and set the scroll section property as sticky. Make sure that the main container and the desktop layout's height is set to fit content and the overflow is set to visible. For the next 4 sections, the procedure remains same. Create a frame, set the width to fill container, height to viewport and then name the sections as section 1, section 2, section 3 and section 4 respectively. And then start adding backgrounds. We'll add alternating backgrounds here. 1 and 3 scroll sections will have black background, 2 and 4 scroll sections will have grey background. Just to differentiate between sections. Accordingly, name the scroll sections as 1, 2, 3, 4 in the properties panel. In the first section below the sticky section, add a relevant text and set the distribute to end and the align to right. This will make the text to stay at the bottom right of the section. To add some breathing space to this text, we can add some padding which amounts to something like 200 pixels. In the next section, we'll be doing a similar thing. But now, we'll just put the distribute option to start and the align to the left. This will make the text to stay on the upper left corner of the section. In the next section, make sure that the direction is set to vertical. Set the distribute option to space between. This will distribute the elements evenly across the container with the first element at the very start and the last element at the very end, effectively placing space between each element across the container's height. We'll have two text blocks. According to the rough sketch, we see that the first text block is at the upper left corner and the second text block is at the bottom right corner. To achieve this, we need to wrap the text blocks into individual stacks and push the text blocks within to opposite extremes. Let's do it. On the text block, right click and add a frame. Set the width to fill container. To push the text to the left, we'll use align left. To push the text to the right, we'll use align right. To the parent section, let's add padding of 100 pixels on top and bottom, 200 pixels on left and right. In the next section, we can use the same text stacks, but we need to change the distribute method from space between to center and align to center as well. Add a gap of 200 pixels and make sure that the text stacks direction is vertical. Make changes to the text blocks according to this section. Create a dummy section outside the main container, name the section as dummy and put some dummy content within this section.
Now that the overall structure is complete, we need to get into the core animation now. Let's build the image component. In the sticky section, create a frame and add an image in it. You can use the free plugins like Lumi and Unsplash for this tutorial. Once done, wrap it in a frame and set the width to fill container and height to viewport. Set the distribute and align to center and make this a component. Name it as image component. Change the position of the image from relative to absolute so that the image doesn't move relative to the section. Make sure that the sticky section's position is set to sticky. Now, the next steps are fairly simple. Within the image component, we can add multiple variants and change the variants with simple changes in the properties like scale, rotate, skew, etc. to change the shape of the image according to the rough sketch we have. So during this process, we'll make five different variants. Let's name them 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the second variant's image will be tucked to the left and skewed a bit. In the third variant, the image will be at the bottom right where the major part of the image is outside the section the fourth will be skewed a bit and in the center in the last one the image will be rotated by 90 degrees in the 3d about the x axis with this done we'll add scroll effects to this component select the image component and add the scroll variant effect in the trigger select section in view which allows to trigger the effect based on the section visible on the page Select the section one and select the variant one. Then add more sections and match the sections and variants accordingly. Coming to the animation, if the basic effects look too simple, you can add smooth spring animation to make it even more interesting. You can do this within the transition property of the image component. Great, the basic animations are done. Now to improve this further, you can add animation effects to the text blocks as well. That's it for the video. Now we have this beautiful scroll animation in Framer done. in less than 10 minutes i used components variants effects etc to achieve this animation if it were you how would you have done it differently if you have any future requests on the types of content i should produce in this channel and the type of animations i should dissect and explain to you put them down in the comment section and i'll happily incorporate them in the future videos if you like this content subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon thank you and take care